Hello, everyone. This is Dr. Andrew Frank. I'm a cognitive neurologist here at Briere Memory Program. This period of time is so unprecedented with the coronavirus and the COVID-19 pandemic around the world. It's brought so many changes to all of us in almost every way that we're living. And of course, it has affected those um, in the community and their families affected by dementia. We have to acknowledge that individuals with dementia do have a higher risk of developing COVID-19 and coronavirus. This is for a number of reasons. One, individuals with dementia may have more difficulty abiding by those social distancing or physical distancing rules we've heard so much about in that individuals with dementia may forget to remain two meters away from others uh, or six feet away. They may forget to wash their hands as often. They may forget that they shouldn't touch their face, their eyes, nose, mouth, um, and they may inadvertently um, uh, pass the infection on to themselves or others, owing to the memory loss that accompanies dementia. In addition, individuals with dementia uh, may be living in long-term care, and we've certainly seen that long-term care has been a uh, source of infection, of faster spread, in that individuals are living close together and uh, with through their caregivers as well at higher risk of contracting and spreading COVID-19. Lastly, individuals with dementia are often older individuals and we know that those who are older at higher, are at higher risk of developing more severe symptoms of COVID-19. So for all these reasons, we must be quite alert in helping individuals with dementia remain free from this infection and certainly obtaining treatment if infection arises. Until that happens, we should support uh, our loved ones with dementia and their families through telephone and video calls, which are now much more common in our society. We should try to obtain groceries or other essential needs for them and support them as much as we can. This is certainly a time where we must try to remain together even though we're physically apart. The symptoms of COVID-19 and coronavirus um, can be quite different in different individuals. We know that we must be on alert for fever as well as respiratory symptoms such as sore throat, itchy, watery eyes, cough, and of course, difficulty breathing. In individuals with dementia, it may be more difficult to um, recognize these symptoms as someone may not be able to express themselves as well. Uh, individuals may simply present with a kind of confusion, which is much worse uh, than their usual cognitive difficulties, and which may be getting worse at a very rapid rate, which may be worsening over just days or weeks, quite significantly different, which should trigger a thought that there may be something that is going on beyond the dementia, some kind of infection, which may often be a bladder infection. But if there is a respiratory infection, it may represent coronavirus or COVID-19. And it may not initially present with the typical symptoms, but rather confusion. If that occurs, it's important for individuals and their families to reach out to their primary care physician, a family uh, physician, or their specialist for advice if uh, confusion or other behavioral symptoms arise quite quickly. But if more traditional symptoms of COVID arise, such as fever uh, and respiratory symptoms like cough and difficulty breathing, one 
must reach out to primary care for advice. It may be that individuals can remain at home with mild symptoms of COVID and not require assistance at an emergency room or hospital. However, it must be stated that if there is a worsening pattern of difficulty breathing, it's essential to either call 911 or present to an emergency room for immediate care as breathing difficulties can be very serious, as we know, and should be uh, assessed urgently. We've seen that many cases of COVID-19 and coronavirus uh, only do have mild symptoms. Some individuals have no symptoms at all. And so it may be possible and very likely possible that many individuals with dementia who contract COVID-19 will survive and symptoms may only be mild. And so as we weather this storm, which may yet last weeks or months, we must try to support each other, identify symptoms, obtain help from primary care when needed, obtain assistance from emergency services and 911 if breathing gets worse. And I do believe that together we will be able to get through this COVID-19 pandemic. Best wishes to all. Stay safe and stay healthy.